Life Economics YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn and understand the techniques of production. Techniques of production means the method a firm used to produce a commodity or services in his production process. There are two methods that a firm used to produce a commodity. They are labor intensive and capital intensive technique methods. At the end of the video, you will be able to understand the roles and types of capital intensive and labor intensive in the production process and you will be also able to understand why firms use these two techniques in the production process. Laborers are manual workers doing mental and physical activity in the production process. They manually work for the remuneration. Remuneration means not only the salaries but also the bonuses, the commission payments, the overtime payments, the overall financial benefits that an employee receives from the employer is called the remuneration. So before moving on to the labor intensive techniques, let us understand the different types of laborers. So in the different types of laborers, we have professionally skilled, unskilled and semi-skilled laborers. So when we come to the professionally skilled laborers, they are specialized or having an experience in the particular field. Let's say for an example, engineer, HR manager, chef, advocate, professor, teacher, doctor, nurse or the professionally skilled laborers. Why? Because say for an example, we'll take an engineer. Engineer will do a BE or ME degree and then have a practical experience in the particular field for a long time and then he is becoming a skilled engineer. So then we have uh, a doctor. A doctor does his MBBS graduation and does a practical experience in a particular field and then becomes a doctor. Same way those who are skilled laborers are having a professional degree with experience or called as professionally skilled laborers. So unskilled laborers coming to unskilled laborers in this picture you can see um, the laborers are sweeping the road. So they are unskilled because they don't need any special training or experience in the particular field so that is why they are called as unskilled laborers and semi-skilled laborers are not professionally skilled but they perform some particular physical activity or mental activity let's say for an example if you have visited to a tailoring shop or a boutique there you will find one labor will cutting the cloths based on the consumer size and other another label will be stitching the cloths and another one will be doing the embroidery works so this is called a semi skilled laborers where one particular activity is performed in the field capital is the wealth that creates another wealth like financial assets tangible assets human capital and brand capital financial assets are intangible assets the bank balance and the bonds etc and tangible assets are that has a physical appearance like building machinery equipments and tools raw materials etc human capital is a production unit or a manufacturing unit needs a skilled laborer or a qualified laborer so a qualified and skilled educated well qualified laborer are called as human capital and a brand capital means a company's logo or the pride, the goodwill are called as brand capital. So then we have types of capital. Under the types of capital, we have physical capital and working capital. Physical capital means the tools, machines, raw materials and transportations that are used, used for the production purpose is called physical capital. So and then we have working capital. Working capital is the money in the hand. So we readily have the money in the hand to invest for the further investment purpose. So these are the meaning of capital. After understanding labor and capital, we came to the main topic labor intensive technique and capital intensive technique. In this first picture you can see farmers are working in the field without any machines. They are cultivating the crops without any machines. They are manually cultivating the crops. That's why they are called as labor intensive. In the next picture, you can see cars are manufactured with the help of other machines. There are no humans or labors in, in, involved in the production of manufacturing the car. So it is completely manufactured by the other machines. A machine is manufactured by the other machine. It is completely is called as capital intensive. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय